Hi there. Today I'm really excited to show you an automated blind motor from Roller Houses, which I've integrated into Home Assistant. Roller Houses offers specialized products for automating curtains, blinds, and even outdoor louvers. Today we're going to be having a look at a motor for a roller blind. This one has a rechargeable battery within it and it runs off 433.8 megahertz. They also have options for Zigbee and Wi-Fi radios inside their systems. This table allows you to choose the correct motor for your blind. Roller houses are really helpful. I just sent them photos of what I had and they supplied the correct unit. They also have different strengths of motors, so make sure that you tell them the, both the width and the length of the blind that you're going to be installing this on. So inside the kit, you'll get your blind motor itself, you'll get a charger, you've got the remote control, and you've got some alternative fittings in case your blind has a different profile inside. So having a look at the blind motor itself, it's got a nice heavy solid feeling to it. On this side, we've got the antenna for the radio signal and we've got a red pairing button over here and we've got our charger port. This part is allowed to move around. So this is moving. And on the other side, this is the part that will go inside the blind and will actually turn. So if I now press the button, you'll see that starts turning. Now what I'm pretty impressed is that even if I try and hold this, it feels extremely strong. So I'm really impressed with the power of this motor. So having a look at the remote, it's got a nice solid feel to it. Three buttons, up, stop and down. They've got a nice clicky feel to them. On the back side, we've got this little mounting plate. And if we remove the battery cover, you'll see that we've got the CR2450 battery and we've got two buttons here. We've got a pairing button and we've got a learning button. The learning button is for setting the limits of the top and the bottom of your blind drive. To pair the blind motor with the remote control, we hold this in for a few seconds. It starts beeping, then it does this little jog. Then we select this and we press the C button on the back of the remote. It does a little jogging again and now they paired. We can now go either up or down. To set the upper and lower blind limits, you hold the L button for a few seconds, release it, and then you'll see that the motor will do a jog. Then you select the up arrow to move it to the upper position and then stop. Once you've done that, press the C button on the back and this will set the limit. Then do the same thing for the lower limit. So what you do is hold the L key again in, release it, then lower the blind to the area you want it to be in, and then stop it and then press the C button and you're all set. It's all ready to go. It was really easy to integrate into Home Assistant using the Broadlink RM4 Pro. All I did was learn the remote signal and then I created a script to send the command. I'll leave a link in the description below showing you how to set up the Broadlink. So as I mentioned before, there's lots of options. You've got wired ones, battery powered, Zigbee, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, or the radio one that we looked at. So take your pick. I'll leave the link in the descriptions below. That's all for now. Have a great week. See you next time. Bye.